Well, as the days count down to the start of classes, teachers are still voicing and urging school leaders to take into consideration the safety risk of teaching classes in a traditional brick and mortar setting. So as the number of cases of the coronavirus continues to increase across the region, as I just said, a lot of teachers are concerned. Thank you for joining us on this Monday at 6. I'm Anthony Austin. My co-anchor Heather Crawford will join us in just a minute. But first, let's get right to On Your Side's Ken Amaro, who was at this afternoon's protest with Duval teachers. And Ken, what are just some of their concerns tonight? Well, the big concern is that face-to-face -face requirement. As you know, the Duval County School Board already amended its mandate, uh, the state mandate. And now, just a few seconds ago, I was talking with uh, Board Chairman Warren Jones. He's even trying to take it a step further and request that they can do 100% virtual teaching, at least for the first nine weeks. Right now, even though the board action from last week extending the start of the school year, None of that has been, been approved by the Florida Department of Education as yet. So uh, really everything is up in the air. And that's a concern from the teachers who were here in the parking lot earlier today that this requirement is becoming a major safety concern in this COVID-19 environment. This is a call to action by Duval teachers and their message is clear and unanimous. Teachers are refusing to return to the school campuses until there are no positive COVID-19 cases for at least 14 days consecutively. This motorcade is to bring protest and attention to their concern. I want you to honk if you love our students. In a social distancing protest, teachers rallied in their cars to let the Duval County School Board know they want a safe place to work. Alex Ingram, a six-year veteran, is among those refusing to return to the classroom until he knows it is safe. The rule is safety first in my classroom. Um, the district is not putting safety first. The district extended the school start date and plans to implement safety guidelines for face-to-face -face teaching. So we know there's going to be um, an increase in the spread of COVID-19 once we go back to the school. The civics teacher says, at a minimum, a mask requirement should be added to the student code of conduct, and it is not. We're going to keep pushing um, the district to do the appropriate thing. Teachers like Ingram would like the district to use Duval Homeroom or a form of virtual teaching to be available to all students and teachers at least for the first nine weeks. He says to reopen schools now in this environment will only lead to closures. We will have to sh shut down. I mean, that's it's not a question of if, it's, it's a matter of when. And that is the biggest fear that once school reopens and there's this face-to-face uh, -face teaching that there will be some community spread. Now, the rally ended with the teacher's call for action. What they did was gave out the phone number to City Hall to bombard Mayor Lenny Curry's office asking him to go back to phase one of the COVID-19 order, which basically restricted crowd capacity of that nature. Now, the school board, from talking with Council, uh, Board Chairman Warren Jones, uh, this Friday is when uh, these requests have to be into the Florida Department of Education, and so we shall know shortly what's going on. Back to you guys.